Hello Unlimited friends, it's Zara back again with another question about the application of Law of Attraction in practical ways to our life. Our question today comes from Charlotte and her question is, what is the difference between expectations and intentions? I don't feel good when things go wrong, but the universe expects me to feel good all the time in order to give me what it is that I desire. I desire things and then they don't happen and I get disappointed. So should I even have an expectation or an intention? All right, Charlotte, this is a wonderful question and it is actually many questions wrapped into one. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go line by line and tear this apart so that we can put it back together again for you. What is the difference between expectations and intentions is what your first uh, sentence is. Sweetheart, your intention is your desire. Your intention is about this is what I want. That's the intention. Your expectation is not the same as your intention. Your expectation is a result of your beliefs, the beliefs that you have with respect to this desire is your expectation and so your beliefs could be a mixture of negative things and positive things and so what we need to do is to find out whether you have more negative beliefs or more positive beliefs and then we need to find out which beliefs have more momentum or weight whichever beliefs have more weight in the end they are the ones that control the outcome so if you have positive beliefs about your intention, about your desire, about the thing that you want to manifest, then it will come to pass. And if it is not coming to pass, then there is only one reason for it. And the reason is that you have more negative beliefs about it than positive beliefs. And your attention is on your negative beliefs instead of your positive beliefs. So the thing that is most important is your intention with respect to your attention. When your attention and your intention are in the same place, then you are headed towards what you want. When your intention and your attention are in opposite places, then you are either stuck or moving away from what you want. All right, so that's the first part of your question. The second part of your question is, the universe expects me to feel good all the time in order to give me what it is that I desire. No, sweetheart, that is not the case. The universe does not need you to feel good all the time in order to give you what is the thing that you desire. You see, the reason you have an emotional scale is because it is a way for you to know whether you're moving towards what you want or away from what you want. So the, the part of your question that needs to shift in your understanding is the universe expects me to feel good in order to give me, in order to give me. No, the universe is not holding anything back from you. And so the universe is not needing for you to do anything in order to give you what you desire because the universe is not holding it back in the first place. When you ask, it is already given. The universe has already given it to you, but the universe gives you things in non-physical form. Converting what is non-physical into physical is up to you. That's not the job of the universe. And that's the misunderstanding that you have. Our emotional guidance system is like a GPS. It tells you whether you're going in the right direction or the wrong direction. Now it is up to you to change direction and start going the right way. The universe does not pluck your car up and change the direction of it so that it goes in the right way. That's your work. And the work is to go up the emotional scale so that you manifest what you want. How do you do that? By 
thinking positively, you are giving it energy. And more energy is what results in converting things from non-physical into physical. So it's your job, not the universe's job. And if it is being withheld from you, it's because of what you are doing or not doing. Nothing to do with the universe. The other part of your question that the universe expects you to feel good all the time, that is incorrect as well. The universe expects you to feel contrast because life and living life is about feeling contrast. If you don't feel contrast, then you would become non-physical because the physicality of this world is what makes us different from our non-physical friends. And so contrast has an important part because contrast is what gives you the ability to create desires. If there was no contrast in your life, if you were feeling good all the time, then there would be no contrast. The thing that you need to learn is to feel the contrast and go back up the emotional scale. It's not wrong to feel contrast and the universe certainly does not expect you to feel contrast all the time. The universe expects you to know how to go back up the emotional scale. And yes, it is our work. And in fact, it is our only work to find ways to go up the emotional scale because everything that we want comes to us from a place high on the emotional scale. And so appreciation, appreciation has to be a way of life. Appreciation is not something that you do when you want to manifest something. Meditation is not something that you do when you want to manifest something. It is something that you do regardless every day because it's like brushing your teeth. It's something that is part of your life. All right. And then you're saying, I desire things and then they don't happen and I get disappointed. Sweetheart, when you go down, when you get disappointed, you go down the emotional scale. And that actually keeps you away from manifesting the things that you want. Don't do that to yourself. Tell yourself, oh, I'm feeling disappointed. That means I'm low on the emotional scale. What can I do right now so that I can go back up the emotional scale? Because remember what Abraham tells us. 17 seconds of being high on the emotional scale is enough to get the manifestation process started. 68 seconds of being high on the emotional scale is enough to add momentum so that the pulling power starts. And sweetheart, if you stay in that high emotional place for two minutes at a time and you do that consistently every day, maybe even several times a day, your whole life will change. There is no such thing as disappointment because when you do this, when you practice a law of attraction based lifestyle, your whole life changes and you start living life high on the emotional scale, which means that wonderful things are happening for you all the time. And the nature of your contrast changes. It's not wild wild, uh, you know, variations going on. It's gentle little contrast, easy to close gaps. And that's what we all want. All right, Charlotte. Thank you so much for your amazing question. And in the end, I want you to say that you must always and you cannot help but have intentions. You cannot help but give birth to desire. All you need to do is to keep your attention focused on your desire and your manifestations are a measure of how good a job you are doing of putting your attention in the same place that your intention is. Because when both are in the same place, I call that heart and mind alignment. And when you have that, your life is amazing, full of joy full of manifestations that you want. All right. Thank you, Charlotte, for your question. Thank you to everyone who is here on the replay. Please, before you leave, could you leave me a comment? Your likes and your comments help my videos to rank higher in YouTube. 
and I certainly that is my objective is to reach more people and please do if you like my response to Abraham's questions questions that you have for Abraham come to my hot seat send me your questions comment below with your question or send me a message through my website zimahoon.com and I will be happy to help you with whatever it is that you have a question about. Thank you again for coming. Do subscribe and click on the notification bell so that I can bring you back when I post another video. Bye for now.